Welcome to a short demo of our functional assessment system for easily testing your patient's range of motion. We have a very simple patient database. The minimum information needed is the last name, first name, and date of birth. We organize the patient data by incident. An incident is defined by the purpose of the patient's visit. A patient can have multiple incidents throughout his relationship with you. For now, let's pull up a patient record and then pull up the incident we previously created. On the incident screen, we can describe the details of the incident and assign a treating clinician to the patient's case. We can also assign existing protocols for range of motion and or muscular weakness. Let's go ahead and check out the range of motion protocols. There are three predefined protocols that come with the system thoracic, lumbar, and cervical. In another area of the software, you can also create your own protocols. The protocols give you a quick way of assigning a number of tests without having to assign each test individually. We see for this patient that we have the cervical range of motion protocol assigned. For now, let's review the tests that have already been assigned by using the protocol and then change the selection further if necessary. We can see that by assigning the cervical range of motion protocol, the six tests associated with it are automatically assigned. At this point, you can either continue on to the testing screen, or you can fine-tune your selection by individually removing or assigning other tests. When you're happy with the test selection, you can continue on to the testing screen. A couple of things worth mentioning regarding range of motion tests. The AMA requires that a set of three consecutive tests be performed by the patient. The results are required to fall within a predetermined range of one another. As you are taking your patient's measurements for each test, the software automatically keeps track of the validity of the test as well as the number of tests remaining to meet the AMA requirements. On the lower right, we are showing the AMA guideline value for each respective test. We are using the AMA guideline to calculate limitations for a particular range of motion. There are some other subtle visual aids as well. For example, by single clicking on a picture, you can increase its size. This is a great way to review the positioning of the device for a particular test. You can also preview all the tests you wish to take by simply clicking on the right and left arrow buttons. There are separate pictures for starting and ending position for each range of motion test. For now, let's click on Start Testing, which will allow the system to go into live testing mode. At this point, the patient would be asked to go to the starting position with the device applied as seen on the screen. This allows us to lock in the starting position. Once you get feedback from the system telling you that the data was received, you are able to ask your patient to perform the range of motion. Once the patient has moved with the device applied, you may lock in the ending position by clicking on the device. After performing a set of three valid tests, the software acknowledges a successful completion and will move you automatically to the next test. Once you're done with the testing, simply click on Close. At this point, you will be taken back to the incident screen where additional testing can be performed. Reports can be created from this screen as well. All systems include two session reports. The long session report gives you a detailed comparison report of all the test dates within the time frame selected. This provides one page for each test performed, plus a header page explaining the type of instruments that were used, as well as what constitutes a valid test. Here, you'll see the header page, as well as a report that compares the first test date with the selected test date. Directly below that is a table comparing each test date within the selected date range. 
Finally, on the bottom, we create a detailed graphical report that displays the range of motion on each test date compared to the AMA guideline value for that particular range of motion. The short session report was created in response to our users asking for a shorter, more economical report that could be used for patient education. While the long session report utilizes one page for each test, the short session report displays four tests on a single page. The report comes in graphical format only and is great to hand to the patient after his or her visit to show their progress and also perhaps discuss room for improvement. Whether your system consists of the dual inclinometer, the dynamometer, or both, any test data associated with this patient and test date range will be included in the session report. Thank you for taking the time to watch our demo. Please contact us at 412-278-2040 for more information or email us anytime at sales at proofpreferred.com. We always love to hear from you.